Okay, uh, so this is the same lecture uh, which what we have discussed in the previous class and it was uh, left uh, un incomplete. So we are going to complete that question in this video lecture. Try to understand this. This was the questions. I hope you have watched the previous lecture. Let me remind once again the complete questions. Here the question was limit x tends to infinity log x to the power n minus greatest integer function x divided by greatest integer function x. It is somehow a question which includes log x as well as greatest integer function x. The learners are very difficult to, to handle this type of function in evaluating limits. So let me remind this question. Although we, we have discussed this question in previous video lecture, you can refer for details, but uh, still uh, you have watched all those, then you can continue this. This means greatest integer function which is less than or equal to x. Log m to the power n, this is a characteristic already of the log, property of log, that log m to the power n is n log m. You have learned differently. This is the characteristic of log and if you have not learned this, please refer the video which I have given on logarithm. So, log m to the power n is n log m. So, I can write here log x to the power n is n log x minus greatest integer function x divided greatest integer function x which can be separated for both the way. So, n log x by greatest integer function x, greatest integer function x by x that is n log x by greatest integer function x, this part and the same thing is divided and therefore 1. This I assumed as equation 1. Now I consider one unary function log x by x, limit x tends to infinity. What is this form? Infinity by infinity. So we can apply a hospital rule and derivative of log x is 1 by x, derivative of x is 1. So limit x tends to infinity, 1 by x tends to 0. We know the greatest integer function x is like greater than x minus 1 and less than or equal to x. So if I would make it reciprocal, then inequality sign will change. This function will come this side and this function will be this side. The less than will be greater than. So in that case, if I multiply by log x, the inequality will remain same. Multiply by any positive number, the function will remain same. How can you show this? This is a positive number. Someone may ask that why log x is a positive, considered as a positive. Because x tends to positive. And in positive arena, after 1, the value of log is always positive. And that is why because x approaches to infinity. It is a positive region. And therefore, we can consider that log x will be always positive. And by multiplying with the positive number, the inequality sign will not change. So I can write here and take the limit both the sides. You will be able to analyze this. This is 0. We have already proved. Since x tends to infinity, x minus 1 also tends to infinity. Right now? Out of infinity, if someone subtract 1, 2, we have discussed already that it will lift still infinity. Even infinity minus infinity, if someone do this, it will be infinity, it is also not defined. So, the same thing is there, same function, so therefore, answer is lies between 0 to 0, and therefore, we are concluded here that log x by greatest integer function x is nothing else but 0. So, this part is 0, and now from first, from first, what was that? Limit x tends to infinity, n log x by greatest integer function x minus 1 and this part is 0 that is n into 0 minus 1 into minus 1 and this is the answer of this question. Got it? Very good question, na? right now? I hope you understood it. If you are not able to understood it, please refer the video again. Right? I hope you will definitely get it. If there is any problem, then Watch the second lecture. And what is the second question as uh, well? Let me discuss one more question on this category. You will be definitely able to understand it. And that question is something, something.
very explicit. This question also includes limit x tends to infinity greatest integer function x by x. Limit x tends to, fifth question, limit x tends to infinity log x greatest integer function by x. This is the question. Log with greatest integer function. How to deal with such question? Log x with greatest integer function and what will be the value of such questions? The base is e, understood base is e. So I can think about this question, what to think and how to think, that is a very good one. Um, how to think about this question? Log of greatest integer function x divided by x. If this is an integral part, something, you know, x is something an integral part. So log of certain integers on the base e has certain value, right? Certain value, one can easily recognize this will be definitely a finite value. Whereas, because of this greatest integer, because greatest integer function always give an integral value, and whatever the integral value of any function may be, log of that can be determined and it will be always finite. Even 3 into 10 to the power minus 19, log can be determined. Characteristics and Mendeleev can be easily determined. And therefore, if any integral function, if there is an integral function, integral value, integer, then log of that can be determined and it will be always finite. So this will give always a finite value. Log x is always finite when limit x tends to infinity, this is always finite. Finite value. Has always finite value. And x tends to infinity, then 1 by x tends to 0. When x tends to infinity, 1 by x tends to always 0. So what will happen? This can be considered as limit x tends to infinity, 1 by x log of greatest integer function x to the base e. It means this is going to 0 and this is a finite. 0 into some finite value is what that is 0. So answer would be 0. In that case you can calculate answer of that function will be always 0. I hope you got this. Right? So all functions where it includes greatest integer function or partial fraction we can delete like that and if there is any questions which is coming in competitive examination you will deal like this. There are some shortcut ideas like this also. If you do the pre previous question, there is some, if practice is needed, if you practice it well, some of the question is directly in, come into memory that if greatest integer function x plus greatest integer function 2x up to nx and divided by n square, it is nothing else but x by 2 and that can be directly used in different questions as well. So if you practice then direct result can be used in different questions, many questions and you will be able to use it. So that will be very helpful for competitive examination and in IIT especially such type of question can be asked in IIT advanced as well as any IIT main. Main is not now, uh, it is supposed to be something different time but uh, IIT advanced there will be some questions related to this might be a limited very very important topic for competitive examination of VO and therefore uh, I make some more videos on the limit and thereafter we will enter the continuity and differentiability. So in next video lecture we will discuss some specific type of questions which will include modulus function, how to operate modulus function and questions related to factorials. What is the use of factorials and how a limit in which factorial is being used, how to deal with such questions. So watch the next video, we will discuss in the next video how to solve the questions in which there are modulus is being used, modulus functions are there and some more questions in which factorial is being used, how to deal with such situations, how to operate such kind of functions in the next video lecture. So watch the next video lecture and Capitalize all the knowledge what you have right now 
I am use it in the next upcoming questions whenever I will give some difficult questions. Thereafter, post the completion of this lecture, we will discuss also the IIT JE questions which have been asked already and some other questions which have been asked in different competitive examinations as well. So, be in touch, subscribe and share the videos what you got right now with your friends, your teachers and ask if any there, there is any difficulty in the next video lecture you can mail me at arvindsingacademy at the rate of gmail.com this is my mail id arvindsingacademy singacademy at the rate of gmail.com right you can mail me or you can ask questions on the comment sections as well which is on youtube you can comment uh, and if any doubt is there, you can ask, I will definitely make it clear. So, hopefully you are getting, getting knowledge through this video lecture and updating yourself and prepare for competitive examinations as well. So, thank you, thank you very much for watching this. Thanks a lot.